Hello Ladders fam! Welcome back! So for today's video, we're going to have a presentation of our gameplay and we will watch it and we're going to know what are the right and wrong decisions that we've made and how to improve our gameplay and also how to have a better mindset during arena battles. So again, we're going to have tricks and tips on our BBA lineup. So what are you waiting for? Let's go to our game one. So for our game one, we're going to battle against a double backdoor lineup. So as you can see, uh, we pass on our round one and our enemy also pass. So why we pass? Because uh, we are uh, looking out for the cattail slap that they might use because it is one of the cards that uh, counter against our lineup. So for round two, uh, we decided to attack and the enemy also attack but as you can see the enemy use the cattail slap or this one ca this card so we're not going to uh, discard any card and he will gain many cards however uh, we're going to look at the card that is used by our enemy so i use double uh, third glance and double bug splatter and it deal too uh, much damage against plant however um, since the enemy has defense uh, we're not able to uh, kill the plant so as you can see there is left 71 hp however the enemy use two vegetal bite and look at our uh, energy it's 0 over 10 so um, there is no effect to us because we use all of our energy so if you will be thinking uh, who gain more on this round it is us because uh, he used two energies for nothing so for round 3 we're going to look at our cards so there is no attack however uh, i think this time uh, our aqua will die because the enemy has too many cards and he has four energy to uh, to kill our aqua let's see how it will work so he used four cards however it will not uh, die because of the shield that is made because of the cards and we gain attack plus and speed up ourselves we use balloon to counter uh, uh, the back however uh, he used the mech for doing the back door we discard almost all of the cards that's good but still uh, he can attack we use anesthetic bait to block off the attack of our enemy and however uh, the attack will not not take effect because we also use the sticky goo so it's a double stun for them so now look at the attack of our enemy two aqua cards uh, luckily we don't use the anesthetic bait so there will be no uh, stun effect but still uh, I think our bug here will be alive because of the shield provided by third glance and our base HP which is almost 300 at this point we're going to think of that this shrimp or the aqua with the back, uh, the back door uh, will die because of our damage. Let's see. So I think uh, or in the last stand or not. Oh, so enemy has a last stand, and we also use anesthetic bait if uh, the enemy will not attack. So 
So for round 8, uh, we're going to think uh, on how we will attack because it is a mech and an aesthetic bait is not an useful card though it gives high shield however it will not provide stun against our enemy so thinking uh, that the enemy has three cards however we push through a different uh, strategy wherein we're going to provide more damage than the defense so this is how it works we use a uh, double bug splatter and a third lens and at this point we're so very lucky because the enemy only have double backdoor cards or what we call sticky raid and the sinister strike so probably we will not be killed at this point and our shield was enough to block most of the damage of our enemy so look at that um, we only uh, we have more than the half of our HP which is 230 and now we're going to deal massive damage against our enemy 129 129 plus 94 and uh, this full of damage so now we're going to think of the high yes shield because looking at his HP uh, there is no available sneak raid and 20 plus 25 or plus 25 the se 70 is the highest shield that he can have if his three energy but since our enemy has two energy so probable uh, it will only have 45 to 50 shield so let's see so i use an aesthetic beat for high defense blood um, bug splatter for high damage and also a blissful of shield and i also use thunderclaw for finishing strike because we all know that the hp of the enemy is only 66 plus 45 is equal to 100 uh 111 hp or 101 hp uh so let's look uh, on the damage of the bug splatter which is 129 plus the un base damage of uh, an aesthetic bait we can ensure that we can kill our enemy so that's how we won on this spot on this match against a double backdoor enemy which is a very counter to our lineup because just like I said on the last video, uh, double backdoor or only one backdoor uh, can cancel out our main damage which is the aqua. So let's go for the round 2. So on our game 2, uh, we're going to battle against a plant with a uh, gust unleash and a shrimp with terror jump and let's say it is a god mech so it's a god mech plus shrimp plus plant so as we can see we also have a double uh, for this card or uh, which is the chitin jump and the sneaker raid they attack our furthest enemy so for this round one since the card of our team doesn't have a combo for this card and we're making sure that our front line will not be affected by gas unleash so we will pass on this round and our enemy use double october treat plus a disguise so he used two energy but he will gain one because of this guys and gain two more cards for that round so for the next round he will only have 
4 energy while we will be having uh, 5 energies. So, at this point, um, we're going to burst the enemy. So, on that attack of shrimp, maybe uh, he only poison our aqua so that he can ensure that the passive of the ticks of the poison will really goes well with the two twin needle that he used. So, at this point, our aqua will not be killed. And we can ensure that we can also uh, give enough damage for that. So, for this round, we only have um, third lens and aesthetic bait, thunder claw and aesthetic bait. However, we're going to still uh, to delete all the cards of our enemy. It is our goal to maximize our cards from our bugs. So. For the next round, since we deleted all of the cards, uh, we can sure that the shrimp of the enemy will have low HP for later or low uh, defense for later. So that's the thing. He pass, and he will only since he pass, uh, we can put know that the enemy will still have a plentiful of energy which is 2 plus 2 equals 4 and since our aqua card still has card and the aqua will attack first so we can use that card because aqua cards are deal uh, much damage for the god aquas which is 148 or 139 for some point now we use uh, sticky glue so we can stun our enemy and that's how it works and just for now we're going to look for another detail of our enemy so we predicted here that the god mech will attack our furthest uh, axi so in return we use the defense or we use some cards on our bug on the further side so we can provide much of shield while dealing damage so just like i've said oh critical uh, you're still alive and we will deal so much damage on uh the god mech so this point it is very critical because we will think where will the god mech will attack because one wrong move will lead us to being a loser so my agenda here is to use two cards but in a different axis since two, our energy is only two we use one card on top and one card on the bottom so we can ensure that we uh, can still provide some attack to the mech so this is how it goes since the enemy has two for this card and a free twin needle we can ensure our victory here When we are dealing with Shrimp Nator, our goal is to kill the plant as soon as possible. So, we're going to provide some sort of damage on this round 1. We can use Risky Fish, Third Lens, and Bug Splatter, and luckily, uh, the plant attack, but without the Gus Unleash. So our enemy was left with 2 cards plus 3 cards on this round and we will now attack again 
the plant using our cards. So, because we, our goal was to kill the plant as soon as possible. So, we use double pokey while our enemy use uh, some cards to this uh, that is very effective to our bugs. So, just like that, uh, our front bug and the enemy's plant was uh, deleted. But, he passed, but I use uh, 3 discard cards. So, it is very effective since the enemy only have 4 cards plus 3 later, it will have 4. And as you see, we discarded the furthest cards. So, our goal now here before the furthest cards will go back is to become the first attacker. So, since our koi is available, we use that. And why we are not using the balloon? Because if it has furthest, just think of it. We will be feared. Because the rule in balloon you must attack first before you defend. So, that is the significant rule for using the balloon. So, he maximized all of his cards. However, we are now trying to uh, delete the shrimp of our enemy. At this point, we're not no uh, avi. We didn't have to... Uh, at that point, we are not fortunate enough to give off the bug splat. At this point, we're now the first attacker because of the passive of our uh, koi that is used. So, we can ensure that the aqua will be uh, killed. So, here is the three cards. But, we use the double balloon. So we can finish off the aqua and at this point we now can ensure the victory because the god mech has only 3 cards and with 3 cards uh, our aqua will not be deleted easily while our damage is very high against the mech and the enemy surrendered because you already knew that. So that's all for our today's video. Hope that you garner some knowledge and information about our lineup against the counter. And if you're not using BBA lineup, hope also that you uh, gain some knowledge about on how you can deal with BBA on high MMR. And that's all for our video but before i end this video uh, don't forget to like comment and share the video to your friends and before that uh, you will be having shout outs from our comments so don't forget to comment on our comment box and i will present all your comments on the next video so see you in the next video Goodbye, Ladris fam.